Move your body. Make sure you have enough. I, I can guarantee you I don't have enough space. Attach with a strap. Yeah, I've got a strap. It really sucks that I have to play. Like, I have the big giant, like, the new TV right here. And I gotta play it on the little baby TV. Eh, that sucks. Single player. Look at me. Because <laughs> the only long hairstyle is that one. So I had to use that one, but I gave it a beard. I realized... I don't, I don't remember what these things are called. The new, the new me's, um, they're, they're called something stupid. Um, not chin pokos. Um, it's something like that. But the problem is I've realized they only have one nose type. There's only one type of nose for them. And as a result, they all kind of look the same. Yeah, I've come to realize that. Spoko Square. So looking at Spoko Square, it's very clear that like, right, like there's supposed to be other stuff. Like I know this part in the middle is empty. It feels, it, honestly, it feels like something that you should be able to walk around. Like I know a lot of people hate Spoko Square because it's not Wii Sports Island and I get it. But like, if you were able to like walk around it, like a 3D hub area thing, I feel like people would have a lot less problem with it. Because, like, there's this giant open area in the center of the map that you can't do anything with it. And then there's clearly those, like, two, maybe even three areas off to the side over there. Like, I'm guessing the red, like, this one with all the, like, the tents out front is supposed to be golf. Maybe this other one's, like, basketball or something. And then there's another one that you can barely see trees off to, off to the side. There's clearly something up, right? Like, there's, like, we know they're adding more stuff. We know they're adding golf. But there's clearly supposed to be other stuff here, right? Now, so Wii Sports, this game came out, what, two-ish two days ago? I'll be honest, I have only played bowling, and we are only going to be playing bowling today. I love me some Wii Sports bowling. I know there's other mini games that do other things. Yeah, I don't really care. I'm in it for the bowling, and that's about it. So that's what we're doing. I mean, we'll maybe touch the other stuff another day, but for today, we're doing nothing but bowling. But yeah, here we are back in, in chat. Um, I know I didn't do a one yesterday. I I we were go I was going to, and then some things came up, and I ended up not doing it. But eh, it's still the weekend, you know. We'll we'll get to it when we get to it. I know we rebranded this season to being a Saturday night podcast. And I'm especially thinking, like, next week, I don't know if, I don't even know if I'll um, be here on, I don't know, yeah, I, I've got something to do on Saturday. So I was like, I don't even know if I'll be available to stream on Saturday. Like, because I planned to yesterday and it just didn't happen. Next week, I'm already thinking, oh, I don't even have time. Let's go. So I'm definitely thinking about that. But, you know, it's nice to take a break from Fall Guys, especially because I am now max level in Fall Guys. Spoiler alert, I tried to do the Logic event thingy, and because it was still double XP weekend, I just easily won and um, got everything. Right? Like, Logic was easy. And surprisingly, not that many Logic rounds in a game called Logic. All things considered, honestly... And I have no idea, like, this is this game is very much about, like, motion and, like, physics. Like, you're literally throwing a ball. So I have no idea how well this is going to work. Maybe it'll turn out fine. Yeah, so far, my best game in bowling has been a 236. So I got a 236. We'll see if I can replicate that today, but, you know, we'll see. Probably not, because, again, I'm literally sitting here. I've got about an inch of space before I accidentally hit my microphone. And I will probably hit my microphone at some point, so... Yeah. But yeah, no, I've been, I, play, I picked up the game yesterday. And yeah, I did a little bit of bowling, and that was about it. Uh, 
Holy crap, that curved a lot more than I wanted it to. We'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. But yeah, we got we got some news today. So I'm I'm normally we'd go, like do a round or whatever, and then I jump into it. Nah, let's just jump straight into bowling, shall we? Right, let's just jump straight into the news. So the first story of the night is the Mario movie has been delayed from originally coming out like this Christmas to coming out this like holiday season, I guess. Or it was originally supposed to be this holiday season, and it has now been delayed to coming out April 7th, 2023. Sugar snap peas. Okay, this is this is gonna be a pain in the ass to do. We'll see how this all turns out. And the problem is I don't have the PS4 set up for um, Fall Guys. <laughs> Yeah, um, so yeah, I don't have, so yeah, the Mario movie has been delayed to April 7th, and, eh, I think that's whatever. Honestly, I, as you know, I'm sick and tired of that Miyamoto quote, but it is technically true, kind of, not always. It's true in the case of the Sonic movie. But yeah, so the Mario movie has been delayed, but it also came out. Not a first game, not a first good game. No. But it did also come out, as along with the delay, about what has happened. Like, basically, we're finding out that the delay happened because of um, test screenings. That the movie has done some test screening recently, and the test screenings didn't go all that well. So, as a result, the movie has been basically scrapped um, I've been getting stuff hey let's just keep going for this one but yeah so the test screenings haven't turned out all that well oh those are titles okay but yeah so the test screenings haven't been going all that well but we found out through the test screenings we now basically know the plot of the movie. Which is interesting. So, this comes from Nintendo Everything. And the plot is, it begins with Charles Martinet, narration as through different jobs Mario had before joining the Wrecking Crew. He fights Donkey Kong and saves Mario in the real world. Uh, fights apparently choreographed well and paced. Mario gets a golden hammer. Mario is famous in the present, hearing about uh, gorillas and turtles in the sewer. He investigates. Uh, Mario runs into cr a cranky old Donkey Kong. So they're going with that angle that Cranky Kong is the original Donkey Kong, and the Donkey Kong we know of nowadays is actually like his son or whatever. They both end up falling in a pipe into the Mushroom Kingdom. The first song in the movie has Bowser singing. So it's a musical. Now that's fine. I know some people are like, huh, what? Honestly, I know some people hate musicals. I think they're fine. I remember finding it really weird when the first Lego movie wasn't a musical, but the second one was. But you got Jack Black, and Jack Black, Jack Black's fucking great. So Bowser musical, sure, that'll be fine. Uh, Bowser kidnaps Princess Peach. Mario and Captain Toad go on a journey to stop him. There's a song about plumbing. Luigi eventually goes to investigate. Um, he fight uh, Mario fights Bowser is defeated. Uh, Kamek shows up. Uh, they start off in like these brownish costumes, but then eventually get their more like iconic costumes. Luigi ends up going to like to a forest and finding Yoshi. Mario and Mario and Luigi eventually team up. They go in. They fight Bowser and they save Peach. And there was just a bunch of other details that have come out about it. Oh shit. Uh, fire flowers and superstars appear during the final fight. Yoshi fights Kamek. Um, last bit of last bit of the chase has them tricking Bowser into go to a pipe, and he falls into lava. Mario decides to start a plumbing service in the Mushroom Kingdom, and the first and there's a post credit scene that sets up Dry Bowser. Honestly. 
it sounds whatever. Honestly, it sounds fine. Like, not the worst thing I've ever seen. But I guess these test screenings were really bad. So I guess the movie... Because, like, they specifically point out in the, on, like, these leaks and whatnot that there's not actually, like, that many, like, fart jokes or whatever. Oh, my God, that was terrible. Yeah, they put, the leaks specifically point out that there's not that many fart jokes in this movie, which I find interesting. Okay, that, I don't know why that didn't work. But yeah, they, so they point out there's not that many, like, fart jokes, that the humor's actually a higher level, that the animation's not bad, it's full of life and color. Yeah, Mario and Luigi have slight redesigns. Uh, Dr. Junior, Doc, DK Junior, Pauline, and Toadsworth are rumored to appear. Daisy is mentioned. They say female toads are in the movie. I don't know if that's referring to Toadette or what. Um, Goombas, Koopas, Hammer Bros, Bullet Bills. All those things are in here. So yeah, that's that's kind of that's basically everything that we know about the movie at the moment. It doesn't sound great, honestly. Like it's not definitely the, not the worst thing I've ever heard of. But it doesn't sound too great, honestly, but it's not it like like I said, it sounds like a like I don't know, like a like, it's what I expected. Like, the idea of Mario starting off in, like, New Donk City, eventually falling into a pipe to the Mushroom Kingdom. You know, like the Mario Brothers movie. That's what I expected. As long as they keep it bright and colorful. The musical numbers, I honestly kind of didn't expect, but that's fine. Wow, I'm... <laughs> outside of the person who bowled nothing, I'm doing terrible. It's gotta be me. I'm, I'm wondering if it's me sitting here doing this that's screwing me up. But yeah, so I'm... Finish. Trust me, I am good at this game. Trust me. <laughs> uh, maybe later we'll actually do a serious round. Maybe at the end. But yeah, so that's the Mario Brothers movie. Everything we know, it's been delayed. I, it's whatever, honestly. Like, if they're delaying it to, I don't know. The problem is test screenings. I don't trust test screenings. I really, I never have, and I still don't. Test screenings seem to just, like, they've taken good-ish movies and ruined them, and they've taken worse movies and just made them the worst things in the world. See, fan four stick which was never going to be good, but it prob the test screening was probably better. Also see the Suicide Squad, which was probably never going to be good. But the test but the original version, the Ayer cut, was probably at least better. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm not too impressed with this right now, but I also don't hate it. Like honestly, a lot of that's what I expected. And you can you can do musical number. Again, I think the Lego movie too. It had musical numbers, but I thought the Lego Movie 2 was also really good, so you can totally get away with it. Yes, I know the first one had everything is awesome, still technically wasn't a musical. But yeah, that's the Mario Brothers movie stuff. Yeah. Let's go. I'll still see it regardless. Like, come on, I'm... I'm a slave to Nintendo's brand. I'll still see it regardless. Next up, so, out from Emron Khan over at... Fanbyte? Is it Fanbyte? Is that what M is that the platform Emron Khan works for? He put out a thing, basically saying that there is go that sometime in the next like month or two, we're going to get the announcement of a new Switch game, and it's going to be one that disappoints a lot of people, right? That it's not going to be that good, that it's going to be disappointing, and yeah, it's going to have some problems. So that. I don't know. He did, he didn't say what it is. I should sp I should specify that. He didn't say what the game is. He just said that it will be disappointing to Oh. That's I think the first time I have ever got her bald in this game. Yes. But yeah, no, he said that it will be disappointing and that that kind of sucks to hear. You know, you don't you don't want something from Nintendo to be disappointing. So what could, he, he, and again, he gave no specifics. He didn't say what it is. 
I think he said it will be revealed in a few weeks and that's it. So we actually don't know what this thing is. Other than the fact that, yeah, some new disappointing... Some new disappointing Nintendo game is going to come. And... Yeah, I... I don't know. Like, my, my first instinct is like... A fucking, like... Amiibo Festival, right? Some some shit like that. Uh, ch ch a port of Chibi Robo Ziplash. I don't know. When he says some, I, I wonder if I can find the actual article. Real quick. G give me a second. I'll see if I can find the actual article in between doing bowling. I think we're out regardless, but. Yeah. Alright, let me see. Um, Emron Khan. Uh, fanbite. Fanbite.com. Uh, news. Slash newsy stuff. Let me see if I can find it. Finish. Labor complaint. Yeah, Nintendo's still involved in the labor complaint. Don't let you forget. Go get huh, I don't see anything. I, I know, I know, I'm pretty sure though, there was something about... I can be complete in the Pro League? What? Leagues put you in competition with the most skilled players out there when they're in advanced higher and higher within each league. Okay, I'm not going to do the pro league yet. Um, yeah, sure, we'll take more of these. Well, to be, there is an option for normal bowling. It's just in the single player stuff. If you want to play online, you can't do normal bowling. Nope, you gotta do it in the single player. Okay, I really don't want to compete compete in the pro league yet, because I'm totally gonna screw myself over. Cause especially right now when I'm like not paying attention to these things. Man. Yeah. But yeah, so a new disappointing Switch game. I, I I don't know what it could be. Like, could it be Amiibo Festival? Maybe. But I I I don't know. Or is it just uh, like an announcement that people have been waiting for is actually just going to turn out to like not be that? Like, are we going to get a new Kid Icarus game, but it's going to be like a remake of the first game instead of a remake of um, Uprising, which is what everybody wants? I don't know. But that's just the, that's the rumor going on right now, so I thought I'd bring it up. I don't know. Nintendo has been putting out a lot of announcements in the past week that would make for a Nintendo Direct. Like, honestly, there, like, between the Splatoon, the Xenoblade stuff, there's been a lot of announcements. But nothing... Nothing really worked anything. Plot... I've been saying the exact same thing. Plot twist, it's the same thing as Splatoon 3. Or Splatoon 2. I actually did watch an analysis of Splatoon... Uh, the, the new Splatoon 3 gameplay. And people have pointed out how much more it's like the first Splatoon than it is like Splatoon 2. Like, it's a game that has clearly taken influence from Splatoon 2. Or from the original Splatoon. And like, of course, elements from Splatoon 2 are still there. Salmon Run's still there. Brella, Duelies, all that stuff's still there. But like, when it comes to like special weapons and like how the game actually plays, it seems to play more like the first game. Which I think is interesting, right? It's, it's, it's at least slightly different, but I do still agree that, yeah, oh my god, this is, this is the Pro Leagues? Oh, shit. Again, I didn't want to jump, 
I didn't want to jump right away into the Pro Leagues because I knew I was going to screw it up. Oh my god. But yeah. Uh, next up, Xbox. So as you know, E3 has been cancelled this year. Xbox has officially cancelled E3. But, but, they announced they're doing an Xbox showcase on June 12th. So at the same time Xbox would normally do their E3 showcase, they're doing a Xbox showcase anyways. And this is exactly, like, we don't need E3. I still feel like it's a good idea for companies to reveal all their big gaming news around June, right? Like, we don't need the e ESA to tell us when to reveal gaming news. You can still just do it in June. So this is kind of what I've been secretly hoping for, is that, right, we'd, get, uh, we'd still get the reveal that, hey, guess what, E3 is still happening around this time period and yeah sure enough that's exactly what's happening or at least for we, ha we don't know anybody else we just know microsoft so microsoft and um that includes bethesda as well because they're all under the same showcase because yeah so yeah we now know that's happening and that's cool i guess you know what sure that's fine um i don't we're you know we're gonna see sarfield we're gonna see that whatever it's not called turning red. Um, whatever that red red skies, that vampire looking game. We're gonna see whatever that is. I I hope it's okay, you know. Cause I've as you know over the past few years I've been more lenient and lenient on Microsoft. We're even gonna be talking about some games I played on Xbox Game Pass later today. Cause I do like me some. Cause yeah, I've been playing Game Pass games and. Yeah, no, Game Pass is a great service. So, yeah, color me impressed. So far. But yeah, so I'm I'm interested to see where this goes. But yeah, this will let you know in the settings you can change map with me. Oh, so I can go back to the regular league. Okay, so that way I don't completely screw up my ranking. <laughs> uh Even though I'm not doing that bad right now. <laughs> I just jinxed myself. Uh, I did just totally jinx myself. Game Pass 10 out of 10. Yeah. T Game Pass is fantastic. Let's see. Next up. So, was it... Oh, God. What's his name? Is it... It's not Yuji Naka. It's, um... I gotta find his name real quick. Um. All right, so it is, um, yeah, it is, it is Yuji Naka. Okay, I was correct. So Yuji Naka over at Square Enix, he was, uh, he was basically terminated from the company about a year ago-ish now, and since then he's been in, um, litigation against Square Enix over Balan Wonderworld. That basically he knew as, like, the game's director, the designer, that Balan Wonderworld was a flawed game. And he told, like, the, st the studio that was helping Square Enix develop the game that, like, hey, you need to fix these problems. You can't ship this game yet. And Square Enix just fired him and released the game anyways. So, right, Balan Wonderworld was, like, last year's, like, biggest trash fire of a game. Or at least one of them, that's for sure. And, yeah, it's now come out that Yuji Naka knew it was a trash fire, tried to make the game better, tried to fix the problems... And Square Enix wouldn't let them. In fact, they blamed him. Because he would, like, go to the studio that uh, worked on it um, as Arzest. And he would be like, hey, this game has some bugs in it. You need to fix these bugs. And Arzest got pissed at him. And then uh, Square Enix blamed Yuji Naka for ruining their relationship. 
But yeah, like... So yeah, Balan Wonderworld is just a mess. But, like, it's clear that Yuji Naka tried to make a better game, at least. And that, yeah, he took the company to court over it after they terminated him. And, yeah, and the whole... The rest is history from there. The game came out. It was a mess. Because he, he wanted to delay the game. But then Square Enix just put it out, like, six months after he was terminated. And, yeah, it sucks. It really... And he also said, the, the famous quote in this whole thing was that Square Enix doesn't care about its fans anymore. Which, after seeing games like Babylon's Fall and... Um, oh, what are some other good examples? There are other games made recently by Square Enix that prove that, yeah, they do not care about their fans. Like, one bit. But then there are some games that come out and it's like, no, these are actually really good games. So, there seems to be, like, two types of Squeenix right now. There's the Squeenix that cares about their fans, you know, that's making, like, Final Fantasy VII Remake. And then there's the Squeenix that does not give a fuck about their fans. Which is, you know, the, the Squeenix that made, um... Balan Wonderworld and whatnot. Babylon's Fall. I know there are... Like, someone made a graph that literally shows, like, a line down the middle. Because either Square Enix games are really good or really bad. And yeah, fair. But yeah, so this was this there was a whole thing that broke this week about it. It's it's just a mess. Cause I know a lot of people were actually really hopeful about Balance Wonderworld. Gosh dang it. Yeah, Square Enix is half and half, yeah. Which, to be fair, a lot of game studios are... Admittedly, half and half is still better than a lot of other game studios that are, like... I don't know, like, 90-10. I'm looking at you, EA. Act of Blizzard. Um... Yeah. Oh, my. Even Nintendo's not perfect. Finish. Actually, Nintendo's been getting worse recently. So, boom. See, I told you I'm not terrible at bowling. I can, I can win a game. <laughs> I'm pulling on... You can't see it, but I'm pulling on my collar. And that's how you get some points. <laughs> but I do want to turn... Because I, I don't want to ruin my ranking. So I'm going to turn that off. Uh, oops, not how to play. I want user setting. I'm presuming it's user setting. Pro League settings. Pause the Pro League. Well, well, we'll maybe come back to it later. I'm just not... My mind's like 50-50 at this point. It is really... I, I did notice that as well. It's really easy to get points in bowling. So... <laughs> so as we boot into the... So let's go on to Wibby. So... So Wibby is what I've been enjoying. And I we gotta start off with something cursed. As we get into it today, we got to start off with something cursed. Because if you know me, I love to try out, like, new, like, foods and whatnot. Right? Like, oh, like, hey, like Mountain D or uh, Dr. Pepper today. We released uh, Dark Berry Dr. Pepper. If you if you are at the store and you find Dark, Dark, Dark Berry Dr. Pepper, buy it. It is one of the best soda flavors I have ever had. No joke. It is so good, and they re-released it today. So if you find Dark, Dark, Dark Berry Dr. Pepper, trust me, it's worth it. But they Mountain Dew, on the other hand, released this. Flamin' Hot Cheetos Mountain Dew. Look at that. It's this bright, 
orange color. And yeah, it's flaming hot. And of course, I found, I went to the store a few days ago and I found some. And surprise, surprise, it's pretty cursed. Not the worst thing I have ever had. Like, it's, it, like, it's not, because it's not actually, like, spicy. Right? Like, it's not, like, spicy. Like, the closest thing I would compare it to is, um, they, they did, um, Fire Pepsi and Cinnamon Coke. And it's kind of like that. But it's not, like, as spicy as Fire Pepsi or Flaming Coke. Right? It's a, it's a little bit less than that. But there is a little bit of spice there, but it's clearly like going for something like that. And it's just like, that's cursed, right? Flaming Hot Mountain Dew. It is not the worst thing I have ever had. Not at all. Like out of all of like the sodas I have for my limited edition collection, it is not the worst. But I wouldn't say it's that great. Like I bought a 12 pack, cause you know, that's what I found. And if in a year's time, I still have a can from that 12 pack. Don't be surprised. Like, I still have a can of the gingerbread Mountain Dew. I think I have two. Because every once in a while, I'll look at my shelf and I'll see it and be like, oh, I have, I didn't know I had root beer. And then I look at it and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is Mountain Dew. Because from the back, it looks like root beer. And then I just put it back. Not that, not that that gingerbread was the worst thing ever, ever either. It was just weird. But yeah, no, that's the new Mountain Dew. Flaming hot Mountain Dew. Oh my god. But yeah, the closest thing I is because you know, flaming hot Cheetos usually have like a lemon lime ish as part of their like spicy flavor. So doing that with Mountain Dew, that makes sense, you know, right? I see I see the logical conclusion there of just adding like a little spice to it. And then you know making it orange. So like it's not great, but it's also not the worst thing I've ever had. It's definitely cursed, though. But yeah, but I'm gonna go look for that dark, dark, dark berry Dr. Pepper, which again I remember being so good. Cause they haven't had it since what 2018, and it's one of those things that where I wish it would be a permanent flavor. The dark berry Dr. Pepper, it's so good. It's like a blue. It's and you know Dr. Pepper is normally red. It comes in like a blue can. But it's so good. At least they didn't make it like super limited like they did the chocolate. Mountain Dew. Any idea? Someone flaming Hot Cheetos. Mountain Dew. Fucking brilliant. Yep, that's basically it. Yep, that's it. It's... And like they've done some other weird Mountain Dews like... Um... Oh god. What, what are some of the other weird ones? I know they did birthday cake at some point. I'm sure they've done some other stuff as well. But you know, Mountain Dew is weird like that. Because they're, they're, the Mountain Dew and just the idea of Taco Bell, they love to do weird shit like that. Which is why ba Baja Blast exists. Because it's like the perfect combination of the two. But yeah, no, I, again, it, I, I've had better Mountain Dews. I've also definitely, I, I feel like I've had worse. But I couldn't tell you what that worse was. Maybe, maybe I have. Oh God! What was? I know for a fact there was a worse Mountain Dew. It wasn't the gingerbread. It wasn't any of the voodoo's because the voodoo's are very sweet. Um, I do. I definitely out of like the three cinnamon sodas I've had, between right, I said fl uh, flaming Pepsi and cinnamon Coke. It is definitely the best of the three because I did not like the the red hot Pepsi. The flaming Pepsi, terrible, absolutely terrible. And the cinnamon Coke, I honestly don't even remember what it tasted like. I just don't remember not caring for it. So yeah, that's what I've been dealing with, with the Coke wise. Next up, let's talk about some movies, TV, some anime stuff. Slam's drink. That's it. Where's the cake? The, that is the drink. 
We have cake at home, Mountain Dew. Yeah. So let's see. So, um... Ooh, why is that like that? So, movie-wise, I saw the new uh, DreamWorks movie, Bad Guys. Which, you know, was about, like, the, the big bad wolf, the snake, the spider. All teaming up to, you know... Oh, they're all, like, master criminals, but now they're master criminal-less. Because they gotta be reformed and become good guys. And, you know, it's actually pretty good. It's not, it's not as, it's not like one of DreamWorks' best movies. Those are still the, um, Kung Fu Panda and the How to Train Your Dragon movies. But it's not bad at all, actually. Bad guys, it's got, you know, so you know how after Breath of the Wild came out, and all of a sudden every video game wants to be Breath of the Wild, right? Horizon Zero Dawn, Elden Ring, Immortals Phoenix Rising, all of a sudden everything wants to be Breath of the Wild. Well, I feel like the same thing has happened with animated movies, but instead with Spider-Verse. So Spider-Verse came out, and now every animated movie wants to be Spider-Verse. And that and when it happened with Breath of the Wild, where it's like every game wants to be Breath of the Wild, that's a good thing. Because Breath of the Wild's really good, and at least two of those three games I just named are really good. Right? Elden Ring and Horizon... Uh, Forbidden West, both really good games. And yeah, so now we're starting to see that with movies where it's like, so now we've got this bad guys. And it's clearly taken some influence from Spider-Verse. Not as stylized as Spider-Verse, but it's clearly taken some influence. And yeah, it's pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. It's, again, I don't think it's as good as how, uh, Kung Fu Panda 1, 2, and 3. And I don't think it's as good as How to Train Your Dragons 1, 2, and 3. But it's still pretty good. Like, I still thoroughly enjoyed it. All things considered. And yeah, because yeah, all the characters are fun. There's no, like, big... Like, there is kind of a liar-revealed thing going on, but... It's actually not. There's crosses. There's double crosses. Because it's kind of a heist movie. But it's also not a heist movie. It's kind of complicated. Ooh. But I I thoroughly enjoyed Bad Guys. Yeah. It, it, do I recommend it out of everything that's come out in this past like week? Compared to like Northman. Um, the Nicolas Cage movie, the, the Weight of Incredible Talent, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I'd probably still recommend Sonic the Hedgehog 2 over this, but I enjoyed it. Sonic movie has me so annoyed. The chase scenes in the first movie where Sonic runs from Robotnik the whole time in my head, rolling around at the speed of sound, got places to go to follow my rainbow. They, they do definitely need more music, right? That's, that's one of the things that definitely... The Sonic movie, could, like, they put more music in the second one. But yeah, I do agree. They could always put more music in the next one. Because, yeah, the music is fun, you know? I want to get a new bowling ball. Like, that. one of the things that I do think, in talking about this game, one of the things I do think that kind of sucks is how they're, like, distributing, like, new unlocks right now, where it's, like, all based in this, like, seasonal stuff. I don't know. That's just kind of weird. I find that kind of weird, and it's not... I, I just don't think it's as good. Right? Like, I want to be... Like, like I know people were, like, freaking out when this game had, like, a... Like, you can be, like, a furry. Right? You could get, like, a fursuit. But right now in the game, no, you can't do it. It's something that'll come later. I completely agree about Sonic 3. You, you, you gotta do it, man. You gotta, you gotta give him a gun. I don't know, because they can totally make him like a super tragic figure if they do it right. And I really do think they could pull it off. Right? It's It, it won't be the easiest thing in the world, but I enjoyed Sonic 2. I think we know Sonic 3 is, in, or is going to go into production. It is the highest grossing video game movie of all time. I cannot believe how much Pokemon dropped the ball, right? Every, people love Detective Pikachu. Third highest grossing, it used to be second. It's now, I think, currently the third highest grossing video game movie. Maybe it's even fourth now that Sonic's out. 
And yet, it just, they didn't make a sequel, they didn't put go in, and, like, they tried, but it failed in production. What a shame. I would have, more Pokemon movies would have been, I mean, there's always the animated stuff, obviously, but. Detective Pikachu was just so good, and it looked good. And I'm so glad they made Sonic look good as well. I've been in, I, I've been considering seeing Sonic again. Oh, I've never seen this before. What? What? Um... Okay. Okay, what? I, like, I, I, I'd heard there was, like, stuff in the game that was, like, level stuff. But I figured that was in, like, the single player. What? Yeah, neither did I. Oh my gosh, that's wild. Honestly, this is a very Nintendo thing to do. To have this in the game, but you can't, like, choose it. It just, like, shows up randomly. Ooh, get the mic. Oh, shit. I curved the ball way too much. There we go. Oh, my gosh. That Yeah, I didn't know this was here. What? I mean, this is really cool. It'd be cool if I made it all, um, however many rounds. And every, is, are other people's different? It looks like everybody got a different, like, conveyor belt thing. A hundred, yeah, we do need a hundred pen game. I, I, honestly, I never really cared for a hundred pen game, but that's no reason for it not to be here, you know? Like, I, uh, admittedly, I always loved that secret. Getting it, getting the secret strike where you hit the bell at the back, was always so cool. It was just fun. But yeah, I I don't know. The hundred pen game was never really my thing. But it's weird that it's not here. Oh my god, what is this? This is so wild. I kind, again, I think it's really cool that it can show up in online. It kind of sucks that it hadn't before this point. Even though that doesn't seem like a more complicated course. Yeah, wow, this is... But yeah, 100 pen online would also probably... It'd probably take longer, though. Like, I'm honestly surprised they did 16-player Battle Royale. Oh, and some people had divots in theirs. Yeah, I'm surprised they did, um... 16-player. Just a downgraded version of Resort. Yeah, so, somebody pointed that out, that, like, when it came to, like, doing a new Wii Sports, their goal should have been to try to surpass Resort. Or at least be on par with Resort. Instead, this game just feels on par with maybe the original Wii Sports. But this time they have, what, four versions of tennis? Because you've got tennis, badminton, and volleyball that all play basically the same. It's just weird. I don't know, this game has problems, but that doesn't mean I'm not having fun with it. Like, I'm enjoying this bowling. Wii Sports Club was a mistake. You're not wrong. I will say, however, I did love bingo in Wii Sports Club. The bingo golf, I always found that really fun. But other than that, yeah, no, I do, I do kind, Wii Sports Club ha was definitely not great. But I, you know what I did hate the bowling in? Uh, Clubhouse Games 51. Terrible bowling. I was so disappointed by that one. Oh, this is, this is no problem. Oh, thank God. I mean, I probably... I've 
I haven't done the 710 splits yet in this game, but... So while I probably could, I really don't want to. But yeah, no, I, li I like Bingo in Sports Club. But other than that, yeah, no. And then the whole, like, service thing where you had to pay, like, a monthly fee or whatever it was. That was just stupid. That was just dumb. There's no pro ranks in single player. Yeah, I get that. But I also do kind of get what they're going for with the online pro ranks. Right, that it adds more... Because, like, like yeah, technically the Wii had online play... But it also just kind of didn't. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to have to wait a rotation here. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, so close. Yeah. Let's see, what else have I done? Oh, so, as we all know, Netflix is dying. I, I've said that a lot today, as we know. I don't know why I keep saying that. I wonder if, as part of this advanced thing, if it makes it harder for the people who are higher up. So, like, because I was in second going into it, that's why it made, that's why it gave me, like, the dip in the middle. I wonder if that's the case. I don't know, but that's just a guess. But yeah, so Netflix is dying. But, and they canceled all their animation projects, which is just stupid. Like, one of the only reasons I use Netflix is for their animated shows, like Centaur World. But, um... Oh, sugar snack peas. Oh, wow. That did not do nearly as much as I wanted it to. And that did not curve at all. But yeah, so Netflix is stupid. But, you know, sometimes you gotta watch some trash TV. Sometimes you gotta watch some bad TV. Specifically for me, like, while I'm, like, cooking, I'll put on some trash television. And so, for the past, like, two weeks now, I've had Is It Cake on Netflix, on in the background. So like, I'll be cooking, and on in the background, I'll be watching Is It Cake, which is the the whole, which is a show about like these like cake experts creating fake cake or cakes that are supposed to look like other things. So it's like, oh, this is a cake that looks like a rubber ducky. Oh, this is a cake that looks like a um, right? That looks like X, Y, or Z. It's all about like creating fake cakes. And I've had it on in the background. And, um... Yeah, it's trash TV, but I didn't hate it. There were some good-looking cakes. The person who I, who I was like, three episodes in. Maybe it was even four. Three or four episodes in, I was like, this is the person who's gonna win it. And yep, exa that's exactly who, who won it. So yeah, that was fine. I enjoyed it. You know, it's trash, and I can admit it's trash. But yeah, I've been watching Is It Cake, and yeah, it's exactly what I expected it to be. So yeah, I've, I've been watching that the past few weeks. But yeah, because yeah, I just, I don't really use Netflix anymore. But I was like, I saw it, and I was like, you know what, I might as well. Oh my god. Okay, I need to go a few more. I was too I was just a little too over. Oh, why did it curve that direction? No. No. I'm so I'm disqualified either way. But yeah, so is it cake? There there are some neat looking cakes. There are some cakes that sound good. There were some cakes that didn't that didn't, and there there was one person who I was like, I wanted I wanted them to do better than they actually did. Where I was like, ah, oh, that's disappointing. Yeah, see, the person ranked highest had three lanes to deal with. That's it. That's an interesting way of like trying to nerf like the the better people. 
this is this one was interesting, right? Doing this like advanced whatever. That's interesting. Definitely not something I want to do every time, but I like the idea of it conceptually. What's this last one look like? Is it just... Oh, is it just a normal 10 frame? Okay. Oh, I was expecting something else. Still bowled 100 somehow. Honestly, that's better than I would have done. In like in like real bowling, I haven't bowled... I know, I know I've only bowled like twice in the past like two years. Two and a half years because of COVID. But, um, I don't think the last, like, two times I bowled, I scored over 100. I think I bowled, like, a 97 last time. So I'm way better at Wii Sports Bowling than I'm at Real Bowling. Still really like Real Bowling, though. But I haven't... COVID, man. You can't do it in COVID, so I haven't done it in... I've... I've, do, I did, I've done it, like... Yeah, like, twice in the past two years. I should whatever so let's see the, the other thing i got to talk about um is some anime so we talked about a movie we talked about a tv show let's talk about some anime so the big hit anime of last season that everyone was talking about was my dress up darling everyone was so excited for it everyone was so horny for it and i finally sat down and watched it because you know i wanted to see what the hype was all about and, yeah, it was good. Honestly, the thing that surprised me the most about it was how quickly I binged through it. It takes me a few days to binge through an anime. I binged through it in, like, two days. And episodes, it, uh, the average episode felt like it was only five minutes. It went by so quick. Which, honestly, really surprised me. I didn't expect it to go by that fast. They won't know what hit them. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, my dress up, darling. I, I liked it. I wasn't blown away by it. I definitely felt like there's a similar-ish anime called uh, Smile Down the Runway, which is about models and whatnot, and is about like dressing up and a guy who makes clothing for a pretty girl. That I liked way more because I felt like it had higher stakes. Cause right, like the model is really short. And nobody wants a short model. So she's, like, fighting against adversity. The guy is, like, struggling financially. And he doesn't know if he'll be able to afford to, like, make clothes and whatnot. But he's really good at it. And it's just... It was a really... Um... Oh, shoot. Um, whatever was really good. But, yeah. My, and that doesn't mean... Just because I liked it better doesn't mean I think My Dress Up Darling is bad. I just... I thought it was okay. It just went by so quick. It was over in the blink of an eye, man. I'm liking Spy X Family a lot. I'm, I'll probably get around to Spy X Family once it finishes. I think it's, what, three or four episodes in at the moment? But it looks really good, and everyone I know who's watched it has enjoyed it. I'm just... I usually don't get around to animes until they've, like, wrapped... I don't get around to seasonal stuffs until, like, they've wrapped up. Shoot. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get around to it, just probably not for a while. I don't know, people have been recommending me the manga for, like, a year now for Spy X Family. I'm sure I'll, I'll get to it eventually. No, right right now, I'm watching uh, Ranking of Kings, which I'm only, like, six episodes in. Six or seven. What surprised me, because based on what everyone was saying about it, I thought it was going to be, like, this really cute, like, really wholesome anime about, like, this tiniest king who, you know, is trying to be ranked number one in the ranking of kings. But no, that's kind of not what it's about at all. It's, it like, there's this whole plot of, like, espionage and, like, how the, the king's, like, older brother overthrows him and... And, well, yes, the, the scene with the bird mom is kind of wholesome. It's... It's a lot darker than I was expecting. There is still this, like, wholesome element to it, that's for sure. 
But there's a lot more murder than I expected. I don't know. Ranking of Kings right now, I'm like, it's it's good. It's it's definitely doesn't feel like it's about the ranking of kings. God, I'm terrible. But yeah, I'm I'm like six episodes into that, and I think that's like 24 episodes. So I've still got a while to go. But I don't hate it. Uh, no, it's just it's just not what I was expecting. I was expecting something like very like wholesome, right? Littlest King, right? The little <laughs> I was expecting Littlest King, not um the Adventures of um Happiest Murderer or whatever that um show was called. <sighs> I don't even remember what it was called. But yeah, no, I think it's fine. I don't know. We'll probably talk about it in like a week or two when I finish Ranking of Kings. Man. So let's talk about video games. So what video games have I been playing? Well, we'll talk about Wii Sports at the end. Or Nintendo Switch. I keep calling it Wii Sports. Someone made a joke where I was like, I work at GameStop. And so far, only one person has come in today calling it uh, Nintendo Switch Sports. Everybody else called it Wii Sports. And I think that's kind of funny. But yeah, so I, I other than other than Nintendo Switch Sports, I've been playing um, Xbox. So right, I, I have the Xbox, and I've had and I just I haven't touched it in like weeks. So I was like, you know what? I really need to sit down and I really need to play it. I've been building up games in it. I talked about previously about how I wanted to play Tunic, which is the little like Zelda-like fox game. I still have not played Tunic. However, there's a bunch of other games on. Um, xbox game pass that i've been meaning to play so the first one i played is unpacking which is a very simple little game about you you've like it's a series of like you moving over like 20 like tw i think it's like 20 years just as you move from like oh well hey now i'm in this house now i'm in this apartment and it's just you moving and, like, the things you keep, the things you leave. There is definitely a story going on in the background, but you don't get anything. The only context clues you get are from, like, what you unpack in the house. So, like, at one point, like, you move into a house and it's clear that, like, somebody else lives there. So it's, like, presumably, like, oh, you got a... Uh, I think you actually have both... At th throughout the game, you get both a girlfriend and a boyfriend. Like, I'm pretty... Uh, maybe it might just be all girlfriends, but I'm pretty sure you get a boyfriend and a girlfriend at different points. And then you like break up with them at one point, And I'm pretty sure you move back in with your parents. And yeah, and it, it, there's a part of it that's just like really just like it's not sometimes it's nice to do things that you would find boring in real life. But they're nice to do because you don't have to put any like, like actually unpacking a house can be a pain in the ass because you got to pick stuff up you got to move it right it takes actual like physical effort but unpacking stuff in a video game is fine because it takes no physical effort and you know you can make like a house that looks really nice of course not always sometimes you got a stupid blue spatula that you, that doesn't look good no matter where you put it and you're all out of drawer space but yeah, I, it's just a game about unpacking. You'll do like a few houses, you do a few places and it's clearly you're following one character. Cause like there are certain things like they're ever, you always have a pig plush. But yeah, it's just this really cute little wholesome game that I thoroughly enjoyed. And, but there is something, there's something about it, at least personally, that I found melancholic. It just kind of made me sad in a weird way. It's it's hard to explain. But there was just something about this game that made me sad. Right? Whether that's like... Because, right, it's all about, like, change. Like, you're changing. You're moving to new places. You're ending relationships. You're starting new relationships. What you take. What you leave. And I don't know. And then especially, like, the song... There's a song in the end credits... That's like, let me unpack your life. And yeah, that's it. You're just unpacking a life. And there was just, like, it wasn't, like, it was just, a, it was a, mostly a really relaxing game. But I definitely, like, in the back of my head was like, yeah, this is, there's like this sad, there's just this element of change 
that just makes it kind of sad. And at the, in the in the end credits, it kind of all boils over, and it's like, no, this is kind of sad. Even though it ends on a very good note. Like, I really liked how it ended. I don't know. There was just something that, yeah, I, I'd use the word melancholic about it. But I liked it. I really, if you have Game Pass, it took me, like, maybe two hours to beat. And there might be, there might be other stuff. Like, I know there's, like, achievements. Like, there was an achievement I got. Like, you get fridge magnets. And if you do one plus th two equals three, you get an achievement for that. So there, there was some stuff like that. But yeah, no, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I don't, again, will I go back, like, I, especially with, like, two hour games, it's very easy for me to go back and get all the achievements. I don't know if I will. But I enjoyed it. I think it's a really good experience. And if you have Game Pass, you might as well play it. Next up, I have been recommended a game, or at least to look at a game called uh, Townscaper. I didn't know anything about it. I just knew it was a game, right? Somebody had said, hey, you should check out Townscaper. And I was like, yeah, okay, sure. And it's on Game Pass. So I picked it up and it's not really a game. At least if there are game elements, I didn't really find them. I messed around with it for, I don't know, because I've been doing a lot of podcast listening. I have, right, the podcast fuckface just hit their 100th episode. And I realized, last week they put out episode 99, and I saw they put out episode 99, and I was like, shit, I need to get caught up, because I want to listen to the 100th episode. And because, so, because I was, I think I was like 10 episodes behind. So, I was on, like, episode, like, 90. So, I, so over the past week, I've been trying to get caught up. And, yeah, that's one of the things I... While, while I know I was listening, playing, un unpacking, and listening to the nice music, I was also listening to the Fuckface podcast. And, yeah, and I did get caught up yesterday, and I finished episode 99, or I finished episode 100, which did come out. And, yeah, it was really good. I really enjoy the Fuckface podcast. It's... One of my favorites. And it's the only podcast I'm currently caught up in. Because every other one I'm behind on. Some of them I... Uh, some of them I'm behind on, like, by a year. Not... not or, Well, specifically, what I mean by that... Well, yeah, there are some that I'm behind by, like, a year. What I mean is, like, the last... The most recent episode I listened to was in, like, 2021. So, yeah. Oof. But, yeah, so I played this Townscaper thing while listening to the podcast. And it's... You're just, like, building, like, a little town, and you can make it, like, different colors. There really isn't, like, gameplay to it. It's just more of, like, hey, what kind of town can you make? And to that end, it was whatever. Honestly, I kind of wanted, like, more of, like, a... There's a similar game on Switch called, like... It's not called Cityscape. Oh, God, I don't remember what it's called. But there is a similar game on Switch that is like an actual video game where you're like building up things. It was in an indie showcase where you're like building up things to try to reach a goal. But Townscape just doesn't really have that. You can just kind of do whatever. Maybe there was a non-sandbox mode that I missed somehow. But it just seemed to be like a sandbox where you could make towns. And yeah, I had fun making some weird towns. I, tr I filled up, I tried to fill up every square of the map just to see if I could do it. And I, I got close anyways. Ah, shoot, so close. But yeah, it, it was whatever. Honestly, maybe, I'd maybe recommend looking up some trailers. But like, there wasn't really that much of a game to it, which was kind of disappointing. But yeah, so that that was a thing, and it it was on Game Pass. So I like if I paid money for it, I probably would have been disappointed. But because it was on Game Pass, the, no, I got I easily got my money's worth. Because again, unpacking unpacking was so good. I don't know how much that game normally is, but if you told me oh that was like twenty bucks, I would have easily got my money's worth out of it. Even though I know some people would say that's overpriced, and maybe it is, but it would have been totally worth the money for me. And then the third thing I played on Game Pass that I've been meaning to play is The Pedestrian. It's a pu so The Pedestrian is like a puzzle game where like you know like those little, like the signs of like people like 
those like little signs of like people crossing the street and whatnot that you see at like crosswalks and whatnot or like the you know like the on like doors and like bathrooms they have like the man and the woman sign it's like if one of those came to life and it's like a puzzle game and i liked it it was a pretty good puzzle game it had some fun and interesting mechanics and yeah i enjoyed it i i beat it all in like one day the final puzzle i thought was so interesting like once you realize what's going on i was like oh that's really cool takes forever to solve or at least it did for, like right it did for me but once i realized what was going on i was so impressed with it but yeah so t um the pedestrian and you're like going around and you're like complex collecting different like components to like this device that just again that final puzzle goes wild it it in some ways it does remind me of like something like the witness but i, I do it's definitely much easier to complete than the witness like the witness you can spend out years on really now this one definitely felt a lot more straightforward it does however share one thing in common with the witness that it has a really freaking weird ending like i'm not i'm still not entirely sure what the ending's going for honestly like ooh, I hit the mic has the world ended i'm not entirely sure but yeah so that's one thing i do find kind of strange about it is the ending See, I know how to do that. It's just, it's kind of hard. The 710 split's such a pain in the ass, though. Because, like, you gotta do that, like, by, like, 10, though. But, yeah, so... Yeah, Pedestrian was good. Again, it was another thing I'd seen on Game Pass. And I've been meaning to play. But there's still tons of other stuff on Game Pass I need to play. Tunic. Specifically Tunic. I just keep pushing it off at the moment. But I do want to play it some point i do have to play tunic oh I'll, I'll get around to it i don't know then i picked up wii sports and switch sports i mean and now that's just kind of become you know my life but yeah no it, it's uh, there's there's just been some games i've been needing to play on xbox I look, I look back, I keep two lists. A list of games I want to play, and a list of games I need to play. And yeah, it's definitely, like, there's definitely more games on the list I want to play. And every one of those three games I just named were on the games, were on the list of games I want to play. But I definitely gotta just keep, like, scrolling through those lists, working them down. I mean, bugs, I mean, we're gonna do bug snacks at some point, but we gotta do that on stream. You know, like bug snack, because we did the first bug snacks on stream. We got to do the sequel on stream as well. But we'll get around to it. Oh my god, I really, I really botched that up. If I'm, I went from second to la to fourth. Ugh. The one thing that does suck about doing this online is that you can't complete a full, like, frame. Right? Like, you, unless you're coming in, like, the top three, you never, you don't actually get to complete a full, um, ten frames. So, yeah, even getting a spare there wasn't enough. Oof. So I guess that I guess let's talk about Nintendo Switch Sports or at least bowling cuz that's really all I've been playing. And um yeah no I enjoy bowling. I think it's again I there was Clubhouse games a few um I what was that 2020 and Clubhouse games was fine but definitely the bowling sucked in it. Like all they had to do was make Wii Sports cuz the original Wii Sports is the best bowling game of all time. I know Resorts has some changes that make things better. There's just something about the simplicity of the original Wii Sports that I love, right? There's just something super simple about it because Resort makes some like changes that technically this game has, but I don't know. 
But so far, I am enjoying this one. I am enjoying this Switch Sports. I'm having fun with it. It definitely is more like Resort. It's definitely not as good as Resort. Because you just have so much to do in Resort. And here, it just doesn't feel like it. Now we're still going. Has it only been an hour? Hmm. Feels like it's been longer than that. But yeah, no, there's just... I just feel like there's so much more to do in we uh, Resort than there is in this game. And that kind of highlights... I want to stand up for this last game. So I'm moving my chair out of the way. But yeah, that kind of highlights my... I don't know. I'm assuming the mic sounds fine. But yeah, that kind of highlights my problem with it. Is that... Well, yeah, it's cool. And I know I only care about bowling. And I'm satisfied with the bowling. You can't, Yes, you can't beat the perfection that was the original Wii Sports. Uh, but, you know, 9 out of 10 is still good. Which is, right, again, Resort was like 9 out of 10. It's, it's the little things. I don't know. It's always been the little things. I know people hate the new, like, not me's. That's... They're not called Spokos. I don't remember what they're called. And yeah, they're not as good. I agree. But... Let's go. Uh, you know, whatever. It does... I, I, I've joked around it before that it's the yassification of the me's. And while that's somebody else's joke, it's kind of true. I definitely do feel like... I, and I know you can use the Miis, but I don't know. I definitely maybe should just use the Miis. But I also kind of don't care. And like like people have pointed out, there's like some charm missing. Like even Wii Sports Club ha allowed you to like throw the ball backwards. And yeah, fair point. Oh. Yeah, even Wii Sports Clubs let you throw the ball backwards. God damn it. We're probably already out. But yeah, um, uh, but yeah, this, the, whatever the Nautikoff means or whatever, it does definitely, f like, even with the six games there, it does definitely feel kind of lacking. Because, yeah, we, I know Wii Sports only had, like, six. But Wii Sports Resort had, like, 15 or something like that. It had way more. And your goal should at least be to try to beat Wii Sports. I know they're adding golf later. I'm sure they're, they'll probably add at least one other thing. Whether that be... I, honestly, I don't want boxing. I don't want baseball. I think basketball would be okay. Or I'd be down for, like, something entirely new. You know? Right, I'd be down for just something entirely new. But yeah, I'm... Overall, I'm just... It's it's fine. Like, it's definitely not as good as it could be. But it's... It's probably about on par with the original Wii Sports. It, but it is definitely... Because, like, at least the original, you had baseball. You had boxing. And those played differently than tennis and bowling. And whatever the... Uh, there was one other. Tennis, bowling, boxing, baseball. I swear there was one other. I don't remember what the other one is that I'm forgetting, but I swear there was one other. Because, like, I didn't need everything from Resort. Like, Resort had, like, kayaking. I didn't need kayaking. I think Resort has bicycling. I didn't need bicycling. But I did definitely need, like, right, but something. This game, I know, has soccer. Soccer seems to be the big new one, and I hear soccer is actually pretty good. But it didn't need badminton. It Badminton could have been an optional mode in tennis. Volleyball, I hear, is also very similar to tennis. And that leaves... Swords is a good one to bring back. Swords was the replace for boxing and resort, and swords was neat. And I, I at least in the demo when I played swords, I had fun with swords. So that's neat. I don't know. I think the game's fine. 
Well, I, what also, I know this is going to be a mix for some people, but what also helps it, in my personal opinion, is that it's only, what, 40 bucks, 50 if you buy the physical edition with the wrist, with the leg strap, which I did not buy the physical edition with the leg strap, didn't need it. No. Don't need the leg strap, not, never going to use that. So 40, 40 bucks for a, a smaller Wii Sports style game, that's fine with me. Wow, why did it not knock down the middle? Ah, whatever. But yeah, no, I, th I think for a cheaper... Again, I know the middle shelf game doesn't exist anymore. Kind of. But the cheaper you make a game, the more willing people are to buy it. And yeah, I'm more willing to buy this game because it is cheaper. I know Nintendo hates to sell cheap games, because literally Breath of the Wild is still $60 five plus years later, but yeah. I don't know, I say that, but I think Clubhouse Games was a full 60, and that's, I think I saw that on sale for 30 the other day. Yeah, no, I, th I think this game's fine. And, you know, finding out, finding this, like, advanced bowling, like, ranked modes is something I expected to be there, I just didn't know when you unlocked it. But finding this advanced bowling, I think is neat. Again, it's some, in, in a better game, you'd be able to choose this. But, you know, it's fine. Nin Nintendo, if we've learned anything from Splatoon, when it com comes to online, Nintendo is very particular in how it does things. Again, Nintendo doesn't want a player. They don't want a person playing the game. They want a little rubber ducky that they can drag along on a string that will do exactly what they say. And yeah, that's exactly what we're saying here. We, they, they want a ducky that won't complain that you can't choose between doing normal bowling and um, whatever we're doing here. It honestly surprises me that you can do what we're doing, that like even what we've got here you can do. Okay, we wait for... Oh, gosh dang it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I enjoyed this game. I, I think it's fine. Definitely not, nothing, nothing amazing, but it's fine. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it over to my parents when we do for at some point, and I'm sure they'll get a lot of fun out of it because they love the original Wii Sports. So yeah, I took the demo over and they liked it. So yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that at some point. All right, so we're going to the semifinals. And see, I think Battle Royale Bowling is actually a pretty good idea. I kind of wish it had more people, like, right? I know it would be a mess if you had, like, a full 64, but I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah, no, I, I think Battle Royale Bowling is cool. It's, it's a good idea, conceptually. Right, because, you know, we see all these Battle Royale games, and I'm still expecting Splatoon 2 to have a Battle Royale mode. But Battle Royale Bowling makes sense. It's neat. It is neat. And so, f and today I have, yesterday I would have connection errors where on um, every other game, it would give me like an error that's like unable to connect. And then I'd be, and then I'd have to like exit out and come back in, not out of the game, just I'd have to hit like okay to like acknowledge it. And then I'd have to try again. I haven't had any connections go errors thing. Hey, Cody's. Um, my day's going fine. You know, we're playing some bowling. Oh. God damn it. Okay. Um. 
wait for it. Oh my god, we gotta be patient here. No! Fuck! No! We're still in it even with a gutter, but barely. Oh my god, that went terrible. I, I don't think we can win from that. that. That entire frame screwed us. I don't think we can win from that. Yeah, we just had terrible gutter placement. Those two at the end... Yeah, look at that other guy didn't even get any at the end. didn't even get any of those. Okay. Um Yeah, probably not. Um unless it wasn't Pokemon, right? Like, we didn't Pokemon last week? Or did we? From Animal Crossing. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Okay, it wasn't that. It was only like two months. But still. <laughs> well, okay, it was technically a year before that. But no, it's cool to see you around. For us doing Wii Sports, and I'm out. That one, Getting a zero frame completely screwed me there. I, tr I tried. I try all the time. Finish. And you pray. You pray every single day. You do get a lot of points for bowling. Holy crap. Yeah, and you can see, like, it, oh, we only have 10 days left to do this one. We only have 17 days left to do this one. All right, they're clearly, you're putting you on a time limit, and that kind of... At least you can't get duplicates, right? At least I didn't make that mistake. All right, let's try one more normal game bowling, and then we're going to end off. I just want to, I want to end off on a normal game to see if I can really, I want to at some point, because in the original Wii Sports, I've bowled 300 games. I think I did it once in Resort, and so now I got to do it in this one. The original, and see, one of the things I liked about the original is once you figure out what to do, you can consistently do it every time. That was one of the things when Resort... That, again, is why I think of Res even though it's technically in ways better, is that you, like, once, if you find a strategy and you try to do it perfect every time, you think it works, but sometimes it just doesn't. For no reason in particular. In this game, again, same, same kind of thing as Resort. Like, if you find a strategy that you think would be perfect, sometimes it just doesn't work. For revolution. I remember hearing that. So, right, the first time I ever heard that song was the He-Man version. And then hearing the original version. God damn it, we got advanced again. It was not what I expected. Okay. Okay, we gotta get it straight down the middle. Ah, close. Again, I think Advanced is neat. It's just a better game would actually allow you to choose which one you wanted. But if this is a Nintendo game, and nothing surprises me in a Nintendo game. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm guessing this is something that gets unlocked when you unlock Pro Mode. Because I'm honestly surprised I didn't see this at all yesterday. Because I did a bunch of games yesterday as well. Not like an insane amount, but a few. So next week, we'll actually probably go back to Fall Guys. Maybe, maybe we'll do some more. I don't know. 
Bowling, I think, worked fine, actually. Like, it definitely the arm movement definitely kept... Like, I definitely felt like the arm movement was getting in the way. But other than that, I think bowling actually worked fine for this. It worked fine. For revolution. And I said. Maybe we'll do unpacking. Probably not, but maybe. I'd consider it. I mean, we did bowl that, what, 200 game, but other than that, yeah, I'm not doing too great today. I still, again, I still haven't bowled over 250 yet. I think, mean, right, my highest is 236. But we'll see. <laughs> uh, F Fidel. Nintendo Switch Sports is so fucking fun, but it makes me wish tennis, bowling, badminton, volleyball, and soccer were real. <laughs> uh, it's just, you know, being good at the virtual sports, it just makes me wish I was better at the real ones. It's like, I'm, I'm decent at bowling, I'm not amazing, but I'm decent. But nope, I suck in the real ones. And I have been my in the demo, the highest I ever got was like a 220 something. I think it was like 223. So with a 236, I've already beaten that. Oh. Okay, we, we can still do this totally. Just gotta ride that line. Which, guess what I can do? Just keep it inside. Learn how to hide your... I'm actually curious what the audio like this is going to sound like. Does it sound the same? Because if so, I could have been standing up this whole time. Oh. I don't know. Audio is never one of the... I've re the more time that goes on, the more I realize, the less I know about audio. Like, I'm just... I've never been that good at it. No, fuck! I don't know if there is a good window there. Shit. No, fuck! That ru Again, getting a, f a zero frame just ruins you. Ah. I was doing so good up until that point. I was doing good enough, you know. I mean, I'm not out yet, but... Ugh. Definitely in a good position. Especially next round. Because Nate, Nate got a zero as well. And they have three things to deal with. See, I've got one strategy that works really well for me. And any deviation from that completely screws me. I didn't. I curved it in the opposite direction. Oh my god. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, t I twisted it in the opposite direction. I don't know. I'm, I'm out. Yeah. It didn't work out. Whatever. It really sucks that I can't use my big TV. That I have to use the small one. I gotta get that. F God, the only the only fix is a new. Ca I'm worried my my Xbox was doing the same problem because I hadn't actually used my Xbox on my new TV, and I did. And when I started playing unpacking, it was giving me like crackly sounds, and I was like, "Fuck, is it broken here as well? Fuck, is the TV just the problem?" And in some ways, it is because I know the capture card's not the problem. But yeah. So we got one good round of bowling in there. You know, I did one, like, what was that, 215 or whatever. Other than that, you know, we're working on it. Also, I'm gonna still keep playing. Finish. Yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah. Yeah, that's we. That's on Nintendo Switch Sports. <laughs> it's again. It's a. It's a fine game. It's fun. I. It's definitely not as good as Resort, but it's fine. And yeah, hopefully as they add new stuff, hopefully it'll all turn out well. There clearly is more area for them to add new stuff. I just hope they do it. You know. We'll see. We'll see. Well, we know there's golf, but, like, I hope there's stuff other than golf. But yeah. I had fun. I had fun today. But, yeah, uh, next week, uh, we might... I might do in chat either early or late. Because, again, I didn't... I meant to do yesterday, but tomorrow, I, I'm pretty sure I have something to do Saturday night. So, I might do it Friday night... I might do it Sunday. I might even do it Monday. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I might do it Thursday. Pfft, wouldn't that be funny? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But with that, that's where I'm going to end off for today. And with that, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.